What's up, Gita fam? It's your girl, Mika and Prophetess Tamika. Welcome back to Prophetess Tamika's Kingdom Thinking. Um, so, today is not like a word where I'm just thinking, right? I'm, all, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm always looking over here. I'm just thinking, you know, and uh, we go put stuff on my mind. Normally, I speak from... Uh, I give all kinds of words from God. Give them to me. Sometimes they be judging words. Sometimes they be encouraging words. Sometimes they be um, just me thinking about certain things and kingdomly thinking. And it, God will give me a word out of there. But today I was just thinking about my life, you know. Um, I know a lot of us saints, some of us are struggling with uh, just keeping our dedication. And, uh, you know, we, we used to get up and pray at a certain time of day or night every day. We used to get in our word a lot and, you know, and things got hectic, things got, you know, life and you get to slacking or you're just not being disciplined. So the title of this message is, uh, as you can see, is um, Dedication and Discipline. Uh, we need to stay hold and stay um, really dedicated to being dedicated and disciplined, right? Um, I know personally myself, um, I will be doing good, you know what I'm saying? I'll be getting up and praying at a certain time, and then I end up missing it, and then end up, I repent, and then end up missing another day, and it's like, God... What's going on? Um, and it's just God was letting me know where well, you just have to get more discipline. Um, you know, to keep your dedication, like me, I get to between the hours of three and five to pray, right? But if I don't go to sleep till after 12 midnight, then it's hard to keep that dedication because when the alarm go off, you slide that bad book to the left and going back to sleep. That ain't it. You got to be up because the devil moves you out, you guys, between the hours of three and five. I feel like I had to pray. Let me pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for us coming together. We thank you for just being God. We thank you for dying on the cross. We thank you for your protection, God. I ask that you use my mouth and my, as I speak forth your words, God. I give you full control over me. Take over my mind, my body, my soul, my mouth, my vocal cords. Let your Holy Spirit come in, God, and have free flow. God, we bind up every evil spirit, every demonic force, every demon, every witch, every water I can try to come up against this word to pluck it out before it get grounded and, and seated in the, in, the, in the ears of the people, God. And Lord, I pray that you let that church have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. And God, we just thank you. We thank you. We plead your blood over me, over all those that come across this video video we plead the blood over this video in the mighty name of jesus christ and lord we thank you and we count it all done in jesus name we pray amen okay so like i said y'all um you know you be good at, at getting up and praying or reading your bible at a certain time or fasting like you did every once you know twice a week whatever ever your dedication was getting up reading your scripture you know, in the Bible. Y'all, please forgive my mouth. I talk like that because my teeth in the back is hurting me, you guys. And it's swole. And it have me talking like this with a list. Right? But anyway. Um, so, um, and you, whatever your dedication is, you're, you're doing it. And then all of a sudden you get to slacking. Right? And then you're wondering why your visions and your dreams or God you can't hear him as much. Much is given, much is required, y'all. You got to keep your dedication. You know what I'm saying? Ask, pray, pray, make a prayer, say a prayer about, I pray God that you give me dedication to being dedicated. Hallelujah. I need dedication to be, I need the spirit of dedication so I can stay dedicated. Glory to God. The spirit of discipline so I can get up and keep that discipline, you know. So I've learned now, I've come to it to where I have to go to sleep early. You know, get off of YouTube. Stop scrolling. Get off of TikTok, you guys. Get off of Instagram late at night and go to bed so you can get up and pray. Good, so you can get up at a certain time and read your Bible. So you can give time to God. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful because social media can be a sunken hole. I'm sorry. Well, you're looking at other everybody else's lives and you're missing out on your own. 
for us like doing what you need to do to be a part of the kingdom, right? So, um, I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, God, please forgive me. Because, yeah, I feel better. I don't know about nobody else, but I feel better when I pray in the middle of the night. When I have that one-on-one -on -one time with God, you know, and he's talking to me. And we have a conversation, you know what I'm saying? And God do say pray without ceasing, right? Uh, so, it's not just in the middle of the midnight hour, but all through the day. But there's something about those dedicated times. You know, yes, it's good to pray all through the day. But it's something about those dedicated prayer times that just cannot be, um, you know, understand. It just can't be, you know, um, measured up. And I know when I do keep my dedicated times, you guys... That I see more. I see more visions. Uh, and they be plain, you guys. Plain visions. And um, I hear God more. Clearer. Because you're getting closer. You know, you're closer to him. And those are your times where God is expecting you. I have a poem that God gave me uh, years back in 2000. I think it was 18 or 19. But it's called Soldiers Badly Sleep. Soldiers for Christ, we don't sleep, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, not when you are praying and fasting and standing in the gap for other people. You 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 don't have time to sleep. We we live off of maybe four hours a night. And that's skipped between because you go to sleep, you wake up to pray in the middle of the night if that's your prayer time. Then you go to sleep for a little bit, then you get up because most of the time I'm an early riser myself. And the Bible does speak about people, you know, rising up early, seeking God early, so... Um, I just come on here to encourage y'all to um, pray for dedication and discipline so you can keep your dedication to God. You can keep your vow to God. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, I did have a scripture um, to back up my what I'm saying, y'all. Um, but it's not a long scripture, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to give a few scriptures that God gave me. Um, you can always go to your Bibles and research these out, or you can pause the video and, and go along with me. I encourage you to do so. But in everything y'all do, you want to and not you want to commit your ways to the Lord. And dedication is you committing a way to Him and just making it strictly for Him and you. And that's where the closeness come from, y'all. That's where the one on one come from. That's where the personal relationship come from. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here we go. Discipline and dedication, you guys. So here we go. Proverbs 16 and 3 says, Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. A work is prayer. Prayer is a work unto the Lord. When you, And it is also a request. It's something that God requires of us as, as his children. That's how we communicate. That's how we talk to God. That's how we get answers. You know what I'm saying? We make our requests. We ask our questions. You know, and um, that's how we... Uh, you know, to have that connection with him. So you want to always do that, y'all. And and how you do that is by making a dedication and being disciplined. You know, going to sleep at a certain time. Um, um, making sure you, you get some things your attention, but not all of it. Knowing when to cut it off. You know what I'm saying? Knowing when to get out for Instagram. Knowing when to get out of YouTube. Knowing when to cut off TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Get out of the Twitter. Snapchat, get out of it so you can give God, so you go to sleep and give your dedication to him. And everything we do, y'all, make sure you keep God first, okay? Um, I got another one, and you want to do it without complaining. I know sometimes we can be sleeping, we're like, oh my God, I just do not want to get up, you know. But we do it anyway, press, you know. But God said in Philippians um, uh, chapter 2, verse uh, 14 and 15, um, it says, 14 say, do all things without murmuring, murmuring and disputing, y'all. Basically, without murmuring and complaining, you know. Do it happily when you come before Christ. Um, also, 15 says, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God. Be blameless and harmless and be the sons of God, right? Without rebuke, right? You don't want to be rebuked by God, meaning getting in trouble, being corrected. Okay, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine lights in this world. 
Um, when we when we stay dedicated to God and we pray and we stay dedicated on top of the things that God requires of us, y'all, we become the light. Light, the God light shines out on the inside and, and, and people can see that. They can tell when you spend time with God. It shows in your life. It shows on your continents, believe it or not. It changes your appearance. Your face will have a glow. I've had people walk up to me in the store, and I don't even know them. And they walked up to me and be like, you got the Holy Ghost. You know about the Holy Ghost. Like, And I was like, oh, yes, ma'am, I do believe in the Holy Ghost. And she was like, you believe in the Holy Ghost? I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, so when you do things like that, it, it shows. And you don't have to open your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Galatians 6 and 9, and I'm going to bring this one more time again, y'all. And don't and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season when you... We shall reap if we faint not. If you keep on praying and fasting, fasting and seeking God and seeking His face, reaping is not just not the kingdom of heaven is in the long stretch when He get ready to come back for us. But you also can read visions and more understanding of His word and of His will and Him talking to you and just manifesting uh, certain promises. You get that, so that's part of reaping as well. If you faint not, faint not mean not give up, keep on going. You know, keep doing what he requires, right? Um, okay, so last but not least, you guys, when you want more from God, you got to give you give more. More is required of thee. So um, Luke 12 and 4, they say, But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, y'all, of him shall be much required, right? So you also want to make sure that, and I'll say unto whom men have committed much of him that will ask as much, right? So you got to make sure that um, if you want to have better dreams, better visions, hear God voice clear, you want all these powers that comes along with being a Christian, being a God child, then you're going to have to stay dedicated, okay? Discipline dedication okay that also equals up to a strong um intimate relationship with god because now you are putting him first in everything you know i can't stay on tiktok too long because i gotta go to sleep because i gotta get him pray you know what i'm saying i don't want to oversleep i don't want to be too tired you feel me that's the way for the devil to get in so you got to be careful and you got to watch the tricks of the enemy you guys Watch the tricks of the enemy. And let me tell you something. Anytime somebody gets on here and they give you a word, whether it's a prophetic voice, um, prophetic voices, I am also one of those. Uh, they let us, you let you know what, what's coming ahead. Um, but also when people give you words on here are also um, words of encouragement, words of, um, it also starts with the person who's speaking it, right? So it starts here and then it, and then it goes out to the rest. Right, so discipline and dedication. We all want to be strong in that. So whatever God brings, according to me, when He let me know certain things, He let me know when to release it out to you guys, so I can be a help to my sisters and brothers as well. Um, and this let you know you're not alone. You know you're not alone in this. So God love y'all, and uh, I want y'all to be praying for God to give you uh, the spirit of, you know, discipline and dedication so you can stay dedicated to the vows and the promises that you have made God to seek him, you know, to get closer to him and, um, do it in all diligence, you know, cause he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all having a blessed, blessed day. It's kind of gloomy here in Texas and Houston. But uh, it's still a blessed day because I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm awake and I'm among the land of the living. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior and he knows who I am, y'all. My name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. And if that is you, then you have something to be happy about. You feel me? You got something to be smiling about. Also, those who are not um, know what I'm talking about. If you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I ask that you repent, Okay. Um, confess your sins. How do I repent? I confess my sins before the Lord. Let him know, hey, Lord, hey, I am a sinner. You know what I'm saying? I have. Uh, and you confess the things that you are doing. And then you say, Lord, I received you as my Lord and Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I know you came down on Christ. And then your second thing you go do is you you go and get baptized in Jesus' name, okay? Um, and cause, uh, and then because you go, you believe by the Spirit and then you get cleansed with the water. Bless the name of the Lord. So I love y'all. And um, um, y'all have a blessed, blessed, blessed Tuesday. 
So to all my godly warriors, I salute you. May you continue to walk in promise the promise of God have for your life. And uh, I'll see y'all later. So always replace uh, pain with power, fear with faith, and uh, love over lust. Okay? Um, we always want to conquer the things of the devil with the things of God. I love y'all. So talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.